With logging out of the way, let's learn to convert Maya UI elements into something that our Python Qt libraries can understand. First, we need to import one of the OpenMaya APIs so that we can get access to Maya's UI elements. At the very top, add another import statement and say from Maya import OpenMaya UI as OMUI. So we don't have to type out OpenMaya UI every time, and we can just use the short form. Next, after all these if statements, Let's create a new function, and we'll call it get Maya main window. So we'll say def get Maya main window. It doesn't need any parameters, and we'll say win is equal to omui dot util underscore main window, and this will give us back the memory address of the main window we need to convert this to something our Python libraries will understand. So we'll say PTR, short for pointer, is equal to wrap instance, and we'll use a function called long, and we'll put win inside it. This is so that we can convert the memory address into a long integer. Next, we'll tell it what we want to wrap it as. In this case, I want to wrap it as qtwidgets.q main window. Finally, I'll return the pointer. But why do I actually need the Maya main window? Well, it's simple. Instead of using this show UI method for everything, I can simply show inside of my class directly. I don't need to manage this variable and hold on to it inside of Maya to keep my UI alive. With my UI parented to Maya, Maya will maintain my UI for me. So let's get rid of the show UI function. And let's go up to our light manager. Let's add something. We'll say parent is equal to get Maya main window. Then for the super function where we call the init, inside the parentheses, put parent is equal to parent. Back in Maya, let's change our logic a bit. Let's get rid of this line. Instead, we'll just say lighting manager dot light manager. We'll use the parentheses to create it and we'll say dot show. Notice we don't need to store it in a variable, and when I run it, it will automatically just display. And better yet, while I'm working with Maya, it's no longer disappearing under Maya. This is because Maya itself can manage this UI for me, and it sees it as one of its own children. Let's go back to PyCharm. Now, I also want to make this dockable, Right now, it's only a dialog, but I want to attach it to a dock so that we can drag it in and out of tabs. So after our new function called getMaya main window, let's add a new function. We'll call it def get dock, and the name, and we'll give it a parameter for the name. By default, we'll just call it lighting manager dock. Inside here, let's create a new dock control we'll say control is equal to pm dot workspace control. If you're using Maya 2016 and below, this used to be called the dock control, but in Maya 2017 and above, it's been renamed to the workspace control, but the parameters are roughly the same. We'll say name for the name of our dock. We'll say dock to main window because we want to dock it to the main window and we'll tell it to dock to the right and the parameter one. You can learn more about these parameters by looking up the documentation online. But for now, let's add a new label as well. This will be the tab name and we'll call it lighting manager. So let's go back to Maya and call this function. I'm gonna comment this out by adding a hashtag. And instead I will say lighting manager dot get dock. And when I run it, you can see that it's added a lighting manager dock there for me. I can drag this around and I can dock it back in. But if I run this again, you'll see that I get an error and it says 
there's already a Lighting Manager doc, therefore the name is not unique. So let's adjust our code for this first. Let's add a function called delete doc and call it before we call anything else. So we'll create a function called delete doc. So def delete doc. Again, we'll take a name, but we'll default to the lighting manager doc. Inside it, we'll say if pm our workspace control name and then we want to query this query equals true and exists equal true we'll say pm dot delete ui and we'll tell it to delete this ui with this name so now in our get doc before we do anything else let's call the delete doc function and give it the name Back in Maya, if we now run our code again, you can see that it's created the lighting manager. And if I run it once more, it deletes it and then recreates it. So let me close this and let's get rid of our code in the script editor and uncomment where I'm showing the light manager. Let's go back to Maya and let's convert this to something that we can use for our light manager. Just like we did with the get Maya main window, we can convert this control into a pointer. So next, let's get the control. So we'll say cute control is equal to OMUE, the open Maya UI. We'll say mcute util underscore find control. And then we just give it the name. So we just say control. And what this will give us back is the memory address of this control the same way this did. And just like we did up here, we need to convert it to an instance. So we'll say pointer is equal to wrap instance long because we need to convert it to a long, give it the cute control. And then we just want to convert it to a regular widget. So we say cute widgets dot q widget. And we'll say return pointer. So now what I want to do, instead of saying that the parent is the Maya main window, I want to make this optional. So let's add a parameter to our light manager's init method. We'll add a parameter that says doc equals true because we want it to be docked by default. Instead of saying the parent is the get Maya main window, we'll create a new dialog. So let's get rid of this line and instead say if doc as in if we've been told to doc, we'll say parent is equal to get doc. Else, if we've been told not to doc, let's first delete the doc. This way, if our doc already exists, we won't have our UI in two places. Next, we'll create the dialog window that our lighting manager will be inside. So we'll say parent is equal to Cute widgets dot Q dialog. And I'm going to tell it that its parent needs to be the Maya main window. So I'll say get Maya main window. So now when this dialog is created, it will be parented under the Maya main window, and our lighting manager will be parented under this dialog. We'll give it a name. We'll say parent dot set object name is lighting manager. The object name that we give a widget is the same thing that Maya does when we tell it to name any of its controls. This means that Maya can always look up any of the controls we create because it knows its name. So we'll do the same because I'll make use of this later. Next we'll set its window title. So we'll say parent does set window title and we'll call it lighting manager. Finally, we'll add a layout to it. So we'll say layout is equal to cute widgets dot Q V box layout because I want everything to be laid out vertically and I'll apply it to the parent. And next we need to do a couple more changes. First, if this window already exists, lighting manager, I want to delete it. 
So let's just use Maya to do that for us. Before we create the window, let's put a little function call. We'll say pm.deleteUI and we'll tell it to delete the lighting manager. This is the same way we deleted a UI up here and we'll be deleting it down here. Because like I said, when we name an object, all of Maya's commands can interact with it. They may not interact with it properly, but nevertheless, they can find it. But we have a problem. If this doesn't exist, this will error. This line can only run if the lighting manager already exists. So this is simple. We'll put a try up here. And after it, we'll put an accept. And if nothing happens, we'll say logger.debug, no previous UI exists. Now what is this try accept? We're saying try to do this, and if there is an exception, which is another name for an error, then do this. So we're saying try to delete it. If it isn't there to delete, or if you, or if you encounter an error deleting it, then just let us know that no previous UI exists and continue on with the rest of this. Another thing we need to change is that our light manager is no longer a dialog since it will be a child of a dialog or of a doc. So up top, let's change the light manager from a queue dialog to a simple queue widget. That means we can get rid of this call to self.setWindowTitle. But it also means we need to add it to whichever parent we created. So at the end of our init, let's add it to our parent. So we'll say self.parent, and we can query the parent by using the parent method on ourself and using the parentheses to get it. So we'll say self.parent parentheses, and we can get our parent's layout by saying self.parent.layout.addWidget. And then we'll add ourself to it. Next, we need to tell our parent to show. The Maya doc automatically shows, but the queue dialog will not automatically show. So we'll say, if not doc, parent.show. And now if you go back to Maya, let's get rid of the dot show because it's automatically being done. Now if we run this, you can see that our lighting manager is docked automatically. I can pull it out, I can drag it into any of these, and it'll behave properly. Or in my code, if I say doc equals false, and now run it, it closes my doc and opens it up as a simple dialog. If I run this again, it closes my dialog and reopens it again. 